So in this Xtool Creative Space tutorial, we're going to be looking at making this QR code sign, which you can use in places like hotels, restaurants, or for weddings and events. Anywhere you want a QR code, which is basically just a quick link to a website. So I'm just going to drop this down here and lock it. Now, if we go to the shape panel, we just want a rounded rectangle. And I'm going to make this about 150 millimeters wide, which just gives a nice larger round to these corners. But we also want this to be a little taller, about 200 millimeters, with square bottom edges. So I'm just going to place this at zero, zero, which makes our life easier. Then once selected, we can go to edit, select these four bottom nodes and delete. Then select this one and type in 200. We can select this one and type in 200. Then if we look, they are still slightly rounded. So if we select both, we can choose sharp corner. Okay, and click done. And then we can align to the center. From there, we can add some text. I'm going to type out free Wi-Fi and change the font to say dancing script. We'll put that onto the engrave process so we can see it a bit better. And then I'm going to move that up and align horizontally. I'm just going to copy and paste that and place that down here. And this time change the text to scan me. And again, align horizontally. So that's the main part of the sign. Now for the, um, the base, we've got three levels, a square top one, and then two rounded corner ones. So I'm going to choose a rectangle and I'm going to make this about 160 millimeters wide, unlink and choose 30 millimeters high. Then I'm just going to align horizontally again and choose rectangle again, this time for the slot. So we know the sign is 150 millimeters wide, so we can type 150 unlink and the material thickness will be three millimeters. So choose three. And if we select both of these, we can then choose a line center. That would be the top level. Then the next two, all we need to do is select the larger rectangle and choose outline by five millimeters and click confirm. That gives a rounded corner. And then if we do the same thing again by five millimeters and click confirm, we have an even larger rounded corner. So looking down on this, we can see we've got a step of three. All we need to do now is move that over there and I'm going to copy and paste this two more times. And I'm also going to turn off the eyeball for the image. So for the top level, we don't need these outside too. We can delete those and make compound path with those. Then the next level, we don't need the inside one or the outside one. And we can make a compound path of those. And for the biggest one, we don't need the inside two. So then we can make a compound path of those. And there we would have the three stepped. Um, we'd have the three stepped base there. Now for the QR code, if we go to the applications panel and, and select code generation, it's already on QR code. Now, all we need to do is type out or paste a website 
or social media site, anywhere you want to go to. For me, I'm going to type out www.designfind.com forward slash profile forward slash 151938. And for the advanced settings, I think this is just about how detailed the QR code will be. So more detailed and less detailed. But 15% seems to work with everything. Click Save. There we have a QR code image. And we can resize that to be about 100 millimeters. From there, we can just choose Trace. And because it's a white on black image, it's perfect for tracing. So we just click Save. And we can select the image and delete it. Now the QR codes all lines. So if we were to place that onto the engraving process, you can see it now looks correct. And if we zoom out and horizontally align, we can now just move some of this text up and down. You can even resize the QR code, let's say 100. And move things about. And that looks about right. <clears throat> I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.